guys, this is Max here from Up The Cherries and All Departments, FC Born The Fan Channel. And yeah, I don't know where to start really. This manager, I don't know what, what he's on at the minute because he, he said at the start it would be attacking football, right? It's not working. Attacking football with hit this manager looks like relegation football back uh, bloody... Portsmouth away and home next year or, or bloody Stevenage whatever you want to call it right and the funny thing is the difference between Iriol and Gary O'Neill is drop back football one depth park the bus yeah actually wins games keeps you in the Premier League right and all these fans <laughs> that's funny all these fans right that are um saying oh Gary, Gary O'Neill needs to go, he needs to go because we lost the last five games of the season. Second, first of all, we, we were on the beach, we were chilling, we were already safe. We didn't really need to win them games. It would have been nice to, but we didn't need to win them games. But the first, the thing is, I'd like to say is, I've got it written down here so I don't forget. Ever since Scott Parker has been sacked and got departed from AFC Bournemouth, um, I'd like to say that. Gary O'Neill's first game with Bournemouth was against Wolves, quite funnily enough. Quite funnily enough, it was against Wolves. And he got a point out of that game as well. The first ten games, uh, nine games, sorry, under Iriola. Oh yeah, let me have a look. Ah, that's not really good, is it? Three points. Are you mad? Three points. That's like one win in bloody eight losses, if you can want to match it equivalent to that. But in the first nine games, under Gary O'Neill, got ten points. That's like a point a game. That's actually quite good, considering we had low confidence after that 9 nil ass-whooping against Liverpool. Bear in mind that. We actually sacked Gary O'Neill, who kept us in the Premier League in 15th, with no signings until this, um, in a, oh, whatever you want to call it, from a few weeks before the Premier League started. We made loads of signings, now we're in relegation with a manager that said he will get us to the top level, right, and also Bill Foley as well said, oh yeah, um, I want at least between 10th and 12th um, with, from this team in the Premier League. We've never been that close in years. Honestly, when he said that, I, it made me laugh because I thought he was watching the NFL in America. 10th. Yeah, our best ever finish was 9th, but that was when we were like, in our prime, when we were really good in that, under Eddie Howe, who will always be my favourite manager. But why why we sacked Gary O'Neill and now he's gone and won against Bournemouth? With Wolves. He's at the last laugh. Seriously, he has. Oh, yeah, another thing. What was I meant to say? There's one more other thing I was going to say. Jesse Marsh. Let's make it happen, shall we? Seriously. Let's make it happen, Jesse Marsh. Because he will probably is the right man that will keep this club up. Because if Eula's not sacked after Burnley and we draw, even draw that game or lose... And we'll be playing bloody uh, Stevenage, possibly, away on a Wednesday night. Stevenage on a Wednesday night, yeah, in Championship. It's probably a rainy night like it is right now outside. Seriously. And then, you know, the stats from the Wolves game. We had seven shots to Wolves 21 shots. Four on target for Bournemouth. Seven on target for Wolves. Oh, three corners to Bournemouth. Twelve to Wolves. Do you know what's quite funny, actually? Drop back. It's not Gary O'Neill. It's drop back O'Neill. Possession 67 to Iriola's attacking. 33. As attacking team, we I know we got a red card. Right. I know we got a red card, but... We had 33% possession against... Um, Wolves 
and we've got attacking manager, you'd have thought it would have been the other way round, you see, that the fact that it's, <laughs> it's quite funny because it says 67 here, right, for, on the actual thing for Wolves as the stats, 67% for Wolves, right, 33 for Bournemouth, right, when we have the attacking manager and Gary Neal's a drop back man that sits back after being the goal up. I mean, the funny thing is, you'd have thought it would have been the other way around. Not attacking football with the lowest possession, but drop back O'Neill with the most. I mean, I love Gary O'Neill, but... Oh, I just... Also, the funniest thing is, I was getting loads of texts saying, Oh, drop back O'Neill, drop back O'Neill. It's actually... It made me laugh. Drop back... You just got O'Neilled. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's quite funny, isn't it? Also, we lost to Everton. Who is a toilet right now. Who is so bad... Right, now managing to pick up form. But I can't see it happening with Bournemouth at the minute unless we change his manager. If we still got Iriola in charge, I'm not being too harsh on my club, but if we still got him in charge for Burnley, right, it'll either be, I reckon it'll be a 2 all draw or a 2-1 loss. And it'll be one all at the last minute and they're going to score a 90th minute goal. It's probably where we pass it out the back. You'll probably see a Phil Bill... No, a Neto pass straight to Phil Bill and he'll just start ice skating across the pitch and let the other player take the ball and just square it and then so for a tap in. Literally, it's a joke because when we had Wolves last week on last Saturday, we were just messing around at the back of it with a red card. I already took a point out of that game with 10 men. A draw with 10 men is, feels like winning. But obviously, it felt like a loss. We did lose anyway. I just knew it would happen. But, you know, in all fairness, if we kept Gary O'Neill, we'd be on double points by now. Double figure points. Because the first nine games, like I just said, it was three points for Iriola, right? In the first nine games. After the sacking of Scott Parker, it's now... <clears throat> we won ten points in the first nine games under Gary O'Neill. Considering going in on low confidence after losing to Liverpool 9-0. I mean... Oh... It's a joke, seriously. Do you know, we should just bring Jesse Marsh in. Bring him on. Let's make it happen, guys. Let's make it happen, alright? That'd be bloody amazing. Looks like O'Neill had the last laugh against Bournemouth. And I'm telling you now, it probably won't be the last laugh either. It probably we'll probably go and get beaten up at Molyneux, where we somehow managed to salvage a win last season. But you know, differently, different, uh, different uh, season, isn't it? And yeah, you know, all these people going on about second, second, second season syndrome. It looks like they've got their win, isn't it? They've uh, got what they wanted. It's, it's quite funny actually. I just hope we stay up. If we stay up, it'll be 16th or 17th. I can't see, isn't it? I can see it being really tight, but us and Everton are really good at getting out of relegation, but I would have thought Everton would have been uh, championship by now. With Bolton and that, the team that, um, I don't know oh, what league of Bolton, I can't remember if it's a championship or not, but they had been the championship because of the, they should have had a six point deduction from FFP, which is financial fair play, which wasn't given, but you know, they haven't been relegated in, years I don't think so or they never have been so that's probably why but I'd just like to say um if we don't beat um Burnley at home next week doors there are really early, mate you have to go you're impressive in pre-season and in cup games but that's not the point it's Premier League right it's most the best league in the world the most watched league in the world you we go away to Swansea City last month, um, night time kick off, and uh, put his first team up. And we were drawing nil nil uh, two two in the ninetieth minute until we scored a last minute winner with a first team. Eddie Howe used to um, only lose games like one nil or two one to Chelsea in the cup with his second team. Come on, I mean. Probably the difference between Iriola and Eddie Howe and Gary O'Neill and that, since we've had all these managers, is Eddie Howe and that. He used to, like, he knew exactly when to drop back, um, make substitutions and, you know, go attacking, whereas Iriola's just all over the place at the moment. 
honestly. But yeah, thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, let's make it happen, Jesse Marsh. Come on, take care, guys.